The International Space Station flying down to, towards Cape York. This was recorded by myself a couple of hours ago. And the Southern Hemisphere's 2018 tropical cyclone season sees multiple areas of uh, interest. And in this uh, update to start off with, we have a look at Invest 94P or Tropical Depression 94P or 03 F. Welcome to another update for Force 13, Australia and Oceania Channel. And within a couple of seconds from now, the life of 94P up to earlier today. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has the 94P located 11 south, 168 decimal 3 degrees east. Now located 11 south, and as mentioned, 168 decimal 3, that's about 500 nautical miles east of Honiara, Solomon Islands, animated multispectral satellite imagery, and a 91 gigahertz microwave image depicts a broad area of turning with pockets of flowing convection located primarily to the north. The disturbance is currently located in an area of excellent poleward divergence. Low to moderate vertical wind shear 15 to 20 knots. Sea surface temperatures 27 to 29 Celsius. Global models Uh, in agreement that the system will continue tracking to the east over the next several days with intensification lightly after 36 hours. Maximum sustained surface winds estimated at 20 to 25 knots. Minimum sea level pressure is estimated to be around 999 millibars. The potential for the development of a significant tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours remains at medium however the joint typhoon warning center has issued a tropical cyclone alert for invest 95e And it's currently located 12 decimal 2 degrees south, 144 decimal 3 degrees east. It's now located 12 decimal 8 south, 144 decimal 4 degrees east, about 145 nautical miles east of Reaper. A 91 gigahertz microwave image depicts a broad circulation with deep persisting convection to the south, several areas of flaring convection to the north and east. The disturbance is currently located in an area of excellent pole wood, equator wood, upper level divergence of moderate vertical wind shear, 15 to 25 knots, warm sea surface temperatures, 28 30 Celsius. Global models show two separate solutions. The most favoured solution shows the system tracking west into the Gulf of Carpentaria intensifying quickly. Keep in mind the Gulf of Carpentaria has some extremely hot sea surface temperatures. Then 95P is expected to track back over the Gulf into the northwestern coal sea region. The less favoured solution shows the system continuing westward before becoming quasi stationary, intensifying in the coal sea before tracking east. Maximum sustained service winds estimated at 20 to 25 knots, 
minimum sea level pressure is estimated to be around 1,004 millibars. The potential for the development of a significant tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours is now high. And on the screen is the overall position of the tropical activity here in the Southern Hemisphere, although down is two in the Westpac. And whilst we have a look at various uh, tracks, uh, Intensity Guide, Fiji uh, tracks on CO3F, Tropical Disturbance CO3F, said that one CO2 millibars was located near 11 decimal 5 degrees south, 170 degrees east, and 3 UTC. Position Paul based on Himawari 8, infrared and visible imagery and peripheral service reports. The uh, tropical disturbance, and I got it to uh, clarify, I said tropical depression, it's tropical disturbance, and then it goes to tropical depression. CO3F is currently moving east. And about 15 knots, maximum 10 a minute average winds in the centre, estimated at about 25 knots. Deep convection remains persistent but to the north and east of the low level circulation. Organisation has not improved. Much in the past 24 hours, cyclonic circulation extends up to 700 millibars. Outflow good. System lies south of an upper level ridge in a low to moderate sheared environment with good upper level divergence. Sea surface temperatures around the 29 degrees Celsius. Global models have picked up the system moving in southeast with further intensification. Potential for this system to develop into a tropical cyclone in the next 24 to 48 hours is high. And there are other warnings in place. Special weather bulletin number 13, flood issued. A flood warning remains in force for low-lying areas adjacent to and downstream of, apology for the pronunciation, the Kwanlai Station. Flood warning remains in force for low-lying areas, Navua and Rewa Catchment. Flood alert remains in force for low-lying areas, adjacent areas to major rivers of Venu Levu. An active trough low pressure with associated cloud rain lies slow moving over the Fiji group. Now we have a look at upper level divergence, it's not as strong as what I like it uh, to be, it's uh, only around 20 knots. The latest wind shear. The wind's unfavourable, yellow is neutral, green is favourable. Twenty-four hour shear tendency. And the uh, scale was on the right hand side of the screen. What I look for is the area in blue. It looks like wind shear is to decrease. 850 millibar vorticity. You can see where 95p is, 97p, 
98p which is around hot hour and the developing uh, tropical disturbance CO3F or 94p we will continue to bring the latest uh, information stay tuned to the main channel uh, there is uh, possibly a live streaming event to take place You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force13, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype, and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.